Hi guys, it's Alyssa. I am here with another reading for you. Today our topic is going to be messages from your person's higher self. So basically we are going to be channeling um, your person of interests, deepest, truest, uh, soul level thoughts, feelings, and anything else that they would like to communicate to you. This could be for a love interest, soulmate, twin flame. Um, this could even be for a friend or family member, basically anybody. This isn't going to be specific to certain types of relationships. So um, we've got three piles of cards to choose from. If you feel drawn to more than one pile, that's fine. There could be messages from multiple people. Um, that want to come through for you, or your reading could be a combination of piles. Um, basically just use your discernment, take what applies to you, take what feels right to you, and leave the rest behind. Um, so our first pile we've got uh, Santa Muerte Tarot on the top. Pile 2 has the Golden Tarot on the top, and Pile 3 has the Wild Unknown Tarot on the top. Um, all of these piles have an equal number of tarot cards and oracle cards, and also a short uh, channel message that I wrote down for um, each of them. So, I think we are just going to go ahead and get started with Pile number 1. All right, Pile 1, let's see what your channeled message is first. I cannot forget you. Please don't forget me. Um, excuse my handwriting, it looks like ass, but um, what your person wants you to know is that you are on their mind all the time. Um, This is definitely a person who thinks about you constantly, who dreams about you quite often. Um, this is a person who can feel you like in their soul. So I would say this is probably somebody that you share a pretty strong soul connection with. Um, This person can feel you with them. I'm, I'm hearing like they carry you around with them every day, like inside of them. So uh, let's take a look at what your other cards are. We've got three Lover's Oracle cards. We have, you may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do, for it is only be in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. And balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. We also have three Vintage Wisdom Oracle cards. Your first one is Adventure. We have Truth. And we have Thought. The wisdom of the oracle cards. Peace. Happy, happy in the reverse. Clean it up. And your tarot cards are the lovers. The five of swords. And the hierophant. Okay. Like I already uh, talked about, um, this person always has you in their thoughts. Okay. And uh, 
I think that there is, I am getting like a, a sense of sadness from this person. Um, with this card being reversed, it's like, <laughs> you know, it's, it's kind of like, um, this person is not, they're not exactly happy about the way that your relationship is, or I guess for most of you, I think probably the lack of a relationship between you, they're not really content with that. Or I guess I should say, see, it's, it's interesting because there's this feeling of sadness, but there's also this feeling of resignation with the peace card being here. It's like they have accepted that, they have accepted the way that things are right now, and they've come to terms with it, they've made peace with that, and this card is really kind of emphasizing that that energy it's like they've accepted that this connection or this relationship took maybe a, a left turn somewhere along the way and they feel as though there's nothing that they can really do about it at least not right now I do think that they feel somewhat guilty about maybe the way that they treated you in the past, but they're saying like, there was, there were things that they kept from you. I don't think like, uh, I don't think there was any, like, huge major deception, but there was just a lack of truth. It was like they were keeping their truth from you. There was, there was this fear, this um, sense of anxiety surrounding, you know, the idea of opening up and, and being honest. I kind of get this feeling like this person... Um, has never really been true to themselves in some ways. There, there are aspects of themselves that they have always kind of kept hidden. And I think that knowing you, or like when they met you, when they got to know you, you made them feel a bit more adventurous. You made them feel a bit brave. Um, like, you know, they wanted to speak their truth to you, they wanted to show you their authentic selves, but there was also this fear, this uncertainty about actually doing that. The Five of Swords is like, uh, conflict, it's, it's, it's like an inner conflict I'm getting. It's feeling maybe they were afraid that you would reject them if they showed you who they really were. Um, but I, see, here's the thing. I feel like, you know, this person had a lot of doubts and a lot of reservations about this connection, but I feel like a lot of those were unfounded. I feel like a lot of it was just them projecting onto you, you know, projecting their fears and, and their anxieties onto you. You know what I mean? And so they, they're saying like, I'm, I'm trying to make peace with that. I'm, it's, it's like they, okay, hold on. Let me back up. They have made peace with what has happened between you, okay? But they would like for this, for, for things to change someday. 
and I don't think this person is really in a rush to um, make things right or to come towards you or whatever, um, but eventually they would like to do that, I feel. It's like they're trying to find some balance within themselves. They're trying to create some stability within themselves, like emotionally, spiritually. I think they're... I feel like in the time that you've been apart from this person, they have been on a bit of a journey, figuring out who they really are and what they really want and what is important to them. And I feel like they've also been trying to clean up uh, things in their life that is not, things that are not serving their highest good, you know, whether that be relationships or um, thought patterns, behaviors, uh, anything that's preventing them or holding them back from being who they want to be, you know, and uh, I think the lover's card here is, again, like I said at the start, I feel like this is a person that you share a really strong soul connection with, and the lover's card is uh, emphasizing that for me, but it's also speaking of, again, that 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 desire or that striving for balance and, and stability. It's like meeting you, getting to know you was kind of a catalyst for this person, right? You challenged them. That's what this card talks about. You challenged them. And I think that they probably hadn't really experienced a connection like that before, a connection that challenged them to that degree before. Um, and so I think they've realized that you, something about you, something about this connection is the key to them, like, figuring out who they really are and, or or understanding their purpose or their <sighs> their divinity. I just <laughs> I'm hearing the word divinity. Their their divinity, their divine nature. It's like this is definitely um they've definitely been on a like soul journey in the time that you've been apart. And I think that was really, really majorly prompted by them knowing you. Because again, it's like they, they feel, they feel this connection. They feel you with them all the time. And it's threatening to them, but it's also comforting, I think. It's, it's weird. It's... <laughs> There's this interesting duality there. But I think it, for the most part, they're grateful for it, or they have learned to, to be grateful for it, because they know now that there's a higher purpose to this, right? And it's helping them to be better. It's helping them learn how to be true to themselves. You know? And they're learning the truth about who they are. And that's major. That's a major thing for this person. I feel like, oops, I feel like this is a person who, again, has never really been their true, authentic self. Maybe because of experiences they've had in the past, or maybe their, you know, experience growing up, the way that they were raised, maybe they were in an environment where they couldn't be their 
authentic self for whatever reason. And so now they, they've they just learned to live their life hiding parts of themselves. But they're starting to come out of that. They're starting to break out of that, um, like... self in those those self-imposed restrictions and I feel like this is a person who wants to come back to you maybe maybe not anytime soon I because it still feels like they have a lot of uh, for most of you, it still feels like this person has a pretty decent amount of work that still should be done, or needs to be done. Um, but they do want you to know that they're very grateful for your presence in their life. For, for just having met you. And they're saying... Even if we never see each other or speak to each other again in the 3D, that they will always remember you fondly, and you will always have a special place in their heart. And they hope that you feel the same way about them, or that you can come to feel the same way about them. Because for some of you, I feel like you do have some hard feelings towards this person because of the way that they behaved um, or the way that they treated you. But they are sorry for that. And they... I'm, I'm, I'm hearing, like, they... They didn't know what to do. They didn't know how to tell you what was wrong with them or how to explain what they wanted or, or didn't want. They didn't want to hurt you and they didn't want themselves to be hurt. So when it came right down to it, they did what they knew to do which I think for most of you was run, okay? It was like that was the best way that I knew how to protect myself. Okay. And they do, they do regret that though. They do regret that and they wish they had gone about things in a different way, but you know, what's done is done. And they've accepted, they've accepted it, and they're trying to move on from it. And for a lot of you, I'm hearing, I've accepted that I may never see or speak to again. And I'm sad about that. It feels like a loss, but at the same time, I'm so grateful that I had an opportunity to meet you. Because you have changed my life in a lot of ways that you couldn't even begin to understand or in ways that you would never guess. Oh, guys. This person is sad, but but it's like they've they're at peace too. So um it's it's a ty it's a kind of sadness that's it's like it's it's bittersweet almost, you know? Bittersweet that's that's a good word for what this feeling is. Um I think for a lot of you, this person uh, interacts with you in dreams. 
their higher self, you know, comes comes to you to try to speak to you through dreams. Um, and some of you, I think, are aware of this because you, you have pretty vivid dreams with this person, or the dreams where this person is present always feel very significant, or they are, you know, much more memorable than the normal dreams. Um, and for some of you, I feel like this person will come back towards you, like, physically. But for others of you, it's not so certain, you know? I feel like it's kind of 50-50. But either way, if if they do, I feel like it's not going to be for some time. Um, because they just feel so... Uh, they just feel so, like, out of whack. It's like, they're in the process of doing a lot of cleanup. You know, like I said, uh, they're they're kind of like purging old negative energies and trying to grow, trying to like evolve. It's like, you know, it's like caterpillars. They're right now. This person is in that uh, metamorphosis stage where they're they're in the cocoon and they're transforming slowly, um, and eventually they'll come out of that and be something completely new and different. But until that happens, I think you can expect to remain separated from this person. Um, but do know that this person does have a lot of love for you as well. And it's like... And they don't even know why they love you so much. It's just something that just comes naturally to them. So, um, pile one, that's all the messages that I'm getting for you guys. Uh, I hope that this resonated with you, and I hope you enjoyed. This one was a little bit different. This was, um, a lot more, like, conscious channeling than my readings normally involve. Uh, but this was... An interesting change of pace for me so um, I hope you liked it and I hope that I see you guys next time pile one uh, let me know if this resonated with you in the comments and um, just remember these are general readings and uh, take what applies to you and, and leave the rest so um, yeah uh, bye pile one we're gonna talk about pile two now So, pile two, let's start with your channel message that I wrote down for you ahead of time. Your message is, I am always watching over you. So your person, whoever this is, definitely feels very protective of you. think that they're with you like in spirit all of the time or most of the time even if this is someone who has not uh, passed away who is still um, like alive uh, there is a part of them that is with you in which case you know that would imply that there is a pretty intense soul connection there because there is something at the soul level that is shared between you. You know what I mean? Um, so let's see what your cards are. We have Sacred Union. Honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. So that's, yeah, that's pretty much a confirmation that this, there is a pretty intense soul connection here. Um, it is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. 
and we have Only Time Will Tell. We've got Release, we have Harmony, Discernment, we have Round and Round in the Reverse, we have Here and Now in the Reverse, and we have Not For You. And your tarot cards are the Tower, the World, and the Three of Cups. So the Three of Cups is really um, emphasizing the message that this is a person who is always is always around you, who's always with you in some form or another. Um, I. <sighs> I get a pretty strong feeling like this is either someone who has passed on or this is someone that has not been a part of your life for a very long time. And I'm getting like, this is, this was and this is something very special, but There was something I feel like that happened that caused the two of you to drift apart or, or caused this separation or this... this uh, ending to your relationship and, you know, that could have been... Any, that could have been any number of things. Um, including, you know, physical death, um, but I'm, I'm hearing the, the words missed opportunity. This was, this, you two coming together in this lifetime was a missed opportunity. It was, it was something that was cut short and it was like, with this card being here, it was like, this was a connection that was just not... I don't want to say it wasn't meant to happen yet, but it was like... it. It's just something that... wasn't meant to unfold entirely or something like that. Um, okay. But I'm also, but I'm, I'm getting like, there's, there will be an opportunity in the future with this card. There will be an opportunity in the future for the two of you to come back together. And that could mean, you know, later on in this lifetime, or it could mean coming together in, in the next lifetime. Um, only time will tell. It's like, there is something faded, destined about this connection, and it's like something that's been written in the stars. That's, that's what they're saying. Um, I feel like this person is a little bit of a romantic, okay? Um, and it's like, even though there's this distance between you, there's this distance between you, and they want you to know that you, you can't, um, you can't focus so much of your attention on them because, okay, they, this person wants you to know that you need to be putting more of your focus on yourself. Um, I'm getting that a lot of you who are watching this probably have a lot of sadness or grief, you know, related to this person. Um, and they just, they want you to, they want you to, to let go of that as best you can. 
you know, and that's something that takes time and patience. Um, they, but, but they want you to heal. They want you to move forward because it's like, you know, we tried this and it didn't work out, but there's going to be an opportunity in the future. You know, our souls will come together again. You got to just trust and believe that, but it may not be, may not happen in this lifetime. And that's just, for some of you, that's just going to be the way it is, unfortunately. Um, but they don't want you to be sad about that. You know, they want you to know that even though there's this physical distance between you, even though you haven't spoken, even though you haven't seen each other, even though you may not even exist in the same way anymore, they're still here. They're still with you, right? These two cards talk about unity, togetherness, okay? Um, and you can... If you want to, okay, you can communicate with them to an extent. Um, you can do that intuitively, like um, work on developing your intuition, uh, practice meditation, uh, try to um, connect with their higher self so that you can talk and, and interact like one-on-one. -on -one. Um, there's a lot of ways that you can do that. You can, you can totally learn how to do that and, and it becomes relatively easy. Um, so that even though this person is not physically present in your life, they're still there. You can still talk to them pretty much whenever you want to. Um, and I think that for, you know, for you guys, your person would like it if you learned how to do that. If you don't know how already, um they would like that. They would, they would love to have that interaction with you. Um, cause they do love you. They do care about you a lot, but they don't want you to be, they don't want you to grieve for this connection and they don't want you to fixate on all of the the missed opportunities that the two of you maybe could have had. Don't, it's like, um, they're saying, like, don't think about what could have been. Just think about what was and accept that. I'm getting that for some of you, your feelings pertaining to this person or this connection have kind of gotten you stuck in a rut. And they don't want that for you. You know, they they want you to break out of that. They and they and they know that that's going to be difficult. It's not going to be easy. And so they're just t telling you like just take it one day at a time, right? That's that's the way that we make it through these things. Just take it one day at a time. Don't don't fixate on the past. Don't think too much about the future. Just think about the here and the now. Think about the present. Be in the present. Live your life day to day to the fullest extent that you possibly can. Right here, right now what's happening here and now. Not what was, not what could be, what is. Oh. The world card is also telling me that, again, I think I already mentioned this, but this this person wants to emphasize to you, like, how much love they have for you, and, like, you were kind of their world, and you still are. Um, for some of you, I'm getting a very, like, parental vibe from this person, so, like, this could have been a parent or, you know, a, 
person who was like a parent to you, um, or somebody who just saw so much potential in you and, and, and still sees so much potential in you, like, you have the world, you have the universe within you, and you can do anything, and, and you need to utilize that potential because they're telling you like you're you're not making the most of what you have you could be anything but you're holding yourself back some of you um and that is something that they don't want you to do they don't want you to hold yourself back they and some of them i think feel a little bit responsible because some of you maybe are holding back because of them because you maybe are waiting for them or you are you know so much of your attention has been placed on them for whatever reason right now and it's like again they want you to do your best to let go surrender those feelings, those, uh, any sadness or, or grief or regrets, anything that's weighing you down pertaining to this individual or this connection, they want you to release, okay, and move forward, because you deserve the world right you deserve the world and just know that they're always with you they're always with you they're watching over you they want to help you along your journey okay so so keep moving forward keep taking those steps again just one day at a time, one step at a time, but they're going to be with you along the way, every step of the way, okay? That's what they're saying. Um, so pile two, that's really all the messages that I have for you. This was something a bit different um, than what I normally do. Uh, this uh, <laughs> reading involved a lot more um, like conscious channeling than, than what my readings typically involve. Um, so I hope that you guys liked this and I hope that it resonated with you. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments and, uh, I hope that I see you guys next time. Bye pile two. Alright, pile three. So, uh, what messages does your person's higher self have for you today? We're going to start with your channeled message that I wrote down. You made me feel like I had meaning. Okay, so, right away, I get this energy from this person of uh, regret, a little sadness, a little frustration, um, but also love, okay? Like a lot of love. You know, all of these, all of these readings, um, all of the messages that I've got today are just, have just been full of love. And, and this one is no different, okay? Um, and, you know, just based on what they're saying here, I feel like most of you are in separation from this person, to some degree. Okay, so let's see what your cards are. Give thanks to the blessings of love soon to come to your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. transformation. 
Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. And passion. A magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. We also have ancestors. Guardian angel. Grace. Chaos and conflict. Unfinished symphony in the reverse. The tribe in the reverse. And your tarot cards are the Queen of Cups, the Three of Swords, and the Five of Swords. So, definitely a lot of tough feelings here coming from this person. Um, the Three of Swords, you know, this card talks about heartbreak, betrayal. The Five of Swords is conflict. It's it's grief. It's something that can be destructive. This person feels very conflicted inside, okay? This person feels a little bit immature. Um, like, maybe they just don't... They just don't really have it together. This is a person who feels very intensely and very deeply, and, uh, you know, they feel strongly attached to you, right? And with the Passion card, that's, that's you know, telling me the same thing. Um, but it's like, inside themselves, it's just so disordered, right? Chaos and conflict, that's that's basically what what is going on inside of them. Um, this person could be a bit self-destructive in, in, in certain ways. Um, and I feel like I get the sense that this is someone that probably you, the person watching this, walked away from, as opposed to them walking away from you or leaving you behind in, in some way. Um, and I feel like for most of you, that was because this person just didn't have it together or, or you know, you weren't on the same page about something important to you or they couldn't make their mind up about what they wanted or how they really felt um, or they weren't willing to open up to you or, or something like that. This person is saying like they want to change, they want to change. They, and, and they feel motivated to change because of you, because of the um, connection they have with you and the love that they have for you. And they're trying to do that. They're trying to work towards that change, but right now they just feel so bad. This person's energy feels very heavy and, again, feels very all over the place and... <sighs> It's like they they feel as if they've lost or they've they've missed out on their they 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 feel so connected to you and like the two of you just belong together or you just fit together so well and since you've been separated they feel like they have lost that they have lost that that um, that feeling of belonging, you know, they feel like they kind of feel like there's they they don't fit in anywhere or with anyone else. I'm kind of getting this feeling like this person is really fixated on you, and I think for most of you, the only reason they're not contacting you 
I mean, for some of you, they might be, but for others of you, if they're not talking to you, it's because either you have, like, blocked them or re rejected them or they just feel, or, or they feel like you would, and so they haven't reached out. Um... It's like they're they're trying to find a sense of closure. They're trying to create closure for themselves, uh, but they're struggling to do that really hard. Really, really, you know, it, it, it's it's not been an easy uh, process for them. And I'm also getting with this card that, like, they feel as though you deserve better, and that may be true, may not be true. You know, that's not really for me to say, but that's how this person feels. They feel like they that, that you deserve better and they feel... I feel like this person is very hard on themselves. I feel like they were hard on, on themselves. They have been hard on themselves pretty much their entire lives. But whatever has happened with you has kind of intensified that, at least for now. Uh, I feel like this is a person who has a pretty d difficult uh, family history or upbringing, um, which could be the at the root of a lot of their issues. Uh, I think some of them are saying, like, it's not my fault that I am the way I am. I was born this way, or... I am this way because of things that happened to me in my past. And I wish I could be better, but I don't know how. And it's like, you are... They kind of, they, they see you as this guardian angel type figure. You know, you are so, so high above them. And it's like you make them feel like they had, you made them feel like they had an opportunity to be something better. Like, you know, their, all of their sins could be forgiven. All of their, you know, uh, wrongs could be made right. Everything, like, like they could be something better than what they were when you, you were around. Or when you are around. Um, it's like by your grace, they could overcome. But now that you are gone, or now that your relationship has soured or, you know, gone downhill, I because I feel like for the vast majority of you, that's what has happened. Um, either you're not in contact or your relationship is pretty strained, and because of that, they feel just shitty, you know? They feel like a fuck-up. And they don't know how to make it up to you, they don't know how to fix themselves. All they know is that they have so much love for you, and they want to give you that love, but, you know... Uh, a lot of you aren't going to be receptive to that, or they feel like you won't be you know? And so they don't know, they don't know what to do with it. Just holding on to it. Now that you're gone, or now that they feel like they have screwed up a good thing, it's like they don't know, they don't know where to go from here. Because they kind of feel like they're not, some of them are like, I'm never going to find a person like that again. Or they feel like they're never going to be happy with anybody else. Which is sad, you know, because it's it's not really it's not really true, is it? There's not just one person in the world who's going to make you happy. There's uh, there are so many people who 
can give us the the happiness that we deserve to have but it's like this person has tunnel vision it's like all they can see is you or or the lack of you the absence of you in their life and that's got them really feeling torn up I actually feel like I need to pull out some more cards for this one. I didn't do this for the other two readings, but I feel like for this one I have to because it's like there's, I feel like there's more that they want to tell you, or more that they want you to know. So I'm going to grab this deck and I'm going to pull out a few more cards and see what else they have to say. We have the sun. Whoa, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Five of Cups, Four of Cups, there's the Three of Swords again, and the Seven of Pentacles. I kind of think that this person just wants to wait for you. It kind of feels like this person is just, at least right now, they're just intending to wait for you to come back to them or, or wait for something to happen, you know? Um, because the Four of Cups and the... Uh, Seven of Coins. This is like energy of waiting. This is this is disappointment. This is this is apathy. This is like I'm just gonna sit here and wait for something to happen. Yeah, it's like with the Sun card here. It's like again this they you you made them feel like they had a purpose and and now that things have gone downhill it's like where did, where did that feeling of purpose go what am i supposed to do now who am i now i think this person maybe has some pretty unhealthy um like mentality a, a, a kind of an unhealthy mentality when it comes to relationships or their own identity it's like I feel like this person is very um, codependent for a lot of you. If, you know, this is just general, so this isn't going to be applicable for all of you, um, your your people. Uh, but for a lot of you, like that's an energy that's coming through really strongly. And you know, this is just kind of where they are. This is just where they are right now. They're just sitting there, like fixating on the negatives, fixating on what's gone wrong. And again, it's like, where do I go from here? What do I do now? It's like the light of my life is not here anymore, or, you know, they're, they've walked away from me, or they, they don't want to, they don't want to be the light for me anymore, and so what else is there? So, if this is someone that you don't want to go back to, don't feel like you have to do that just because of how this person is feeling and what they're saying here. Um, it's not your responsibility to make someone else happy. You know what I mean? Um, don't feel like this. any of this is your fault. Don't feel like you've done something wrong, if you haven't. Um, this is just... This is, this is this person's higher self. You know, these are the messages coming through from their higher self. These might be feelings that they aren't even consciously aware of, okay? Um, but it's this is what's going on at the soul level for them, all right? So... Um, Pile 3, that was a pretty heavy reading. Uh, I hope that this maybe at least gave you some insight or, you know, um, an idea of what's going on with your person. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Um, I want to thank you so much for watching, and I hope that I see you guys next time. I appreciate you a lot. I hope you're all doing well. And, uh, yeah. Bye, guys.